everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Today we're going to be making a really, really cute project, a pumpkin with succulents in it that you can give as a gift. So, let's get started. Let me show you everything you're going to need for this project. You're going to need pumpkins. I'm choosing to use little pumpkins because I'm making these for a project for the people that I work with, so these can sit on their desk. Second, you're going to need succulents. Succulents are what you're going to use to plant inside the pumpkins. Third, you're going to need some wet soil. So I have some soil here that I've put some water in and mixed it together. Fourth, you're going to need some bleach diluted with water so that you can uh, wipe down the insides to preserve them a little bit longer. You're going to need a knife for carving, a spoon for scooping out the insides, and some baggies. This extra stuff is to make the little sign that we're going to make to put names on. I'll talk to you about those next. So let's get started. I'm going to pick this pumpkin to go ahead and carve and I'm just going to set it here on my plate. It does take a little bit of work to get through these. So I'm going to go ahead and cut through this one. take my spoon and I'm just going to go down in it and push it down in there so that I can lift a side up to pull it out just like that. I'm going to move my pumpkin off my plate now so that I can use my plate to scoop out the insides and put the gunk. So now that I have my pumpkin cleaned out, I'm going to use my bleach mixture. I just have a foam brush here and I'm just going to go inside and very carefully paint all the walls. Make sure you get the entire area and this will help preserve the pumpkin through the season so that it will not rot right away. All right, so once you have the sides and walls carefully covered with the bleach and water mixture, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a baggie. And I'm using a baggie to hold my soil so that when the plants are being watered, it doesn't just seep down into the pumpkin, it'll hold in the baggie. So I'm going to take my baggie and I'm going to use some of my soil mixture here. That's probably a good amount. So now I'm just going to take the soil and work it down into the pumpkin. And that way I can see how much soil I have and how much soil I still need to add. So I'm just going to leave the excess baggie on the outside because I'm going to trim that when I'm finished. So I'm going to add a little more soil in here and really pack it in there. Alright, that should be good. So I'm going to take this guy here and you just want to be really careful not to hurt the roots and just carefully separate it from the group. And I'm going to take it in here because I have a little bit of water sitting in the bottom and I'm going to make sure that the roots are nice and moist. I'm going to put this little guy Make a little space for his roots and put him down in there very carefully. And then I'm going to find one more small guy. I think I'm going to take this little guy right down here. Okay. And then I'm going to make some room so that his roots can go down and grow and attach. All right. The next step, I'm going to clean off my hands here. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the baggie so that you don't see it any longer. And I'm just going to cut down and I'm just going to cut all the way around the edge here. And we're almost finished. So any excess baggie, just go ahead and tuck it down in there so you can't see it. 
And now the next step is just to decorate it depending on what you're going to use it for. Like I said, I'm going to use these for the gals at my work. So I want to add a little bow. I found this really, really cool. It's kind of like a spongy cord at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it to make a little bow like that. And then I'm going to take my orange pipe cleaner to add a little color to it and to help stick it down into my plant. And I'm just going to wrap it around the middle like this so that it has a pretty little middle section right there. And I'm going to twist it in the back. And then this is what's going to be used to go down inside my plant to hold this cute little bow in place. So I'm going to trim the ends. And I'm just going to put this right down in there like that. And the next step, I'm going to make a sign. This one is going to be for my friend Leslie. So I'm going to make a little sign out of some cardstock. I'm just using a piece of plain orange cardstock. And the back piece I'm going to use is this Halloween with stars. I'm going to write Leslie and just add a little decoration to my letters with my dots on the ends and then I'm going to trim this since it's a little long with my cutter I'm going to be using of course my purple glue stick to attach to the star paper Then I'm going to trim my star paper and the last step is to use a tongue depressor to attach to the back of my sign to stick into my pumpkin. So I'm going to use my Elmer's glue for that. I'm going to take a tongue depressor, I'm going to put a little glue on the stick. Make sure I do it the right way. Put the stick on the back like that. And then I'm going to stick this down into the pumpkin like so. And this will be a really special treat for Leslie when she comes into work on Monday. I'm going to have this sitting on her desk. So I hope you enjoyed this awesome little project. You can use bigger pumpkins and add more succulents to the top if you want. Um, but these really little ones turned out super cute. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to leave comments down below if there are any other ideas of projects you'd like to see me show. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.